Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode in our Timberborn series. So, in the previous one we did construct this little waterfall which seems to be a little bit empty. Oh yeah, I had to pause the, the pump over here because we were running quite low on power which is a little bit surprising. I think now we are almost fully stocked again and uh, yeah, we've, we've got a bit of a power production zone in here and we only have about 2000 in excess which is, uh, you know, it's it's not too bad but it's but it's probably something we'll have to look at this episode. Before we get into power though, I did notice that when I was around this food production zone, I had maybe like four or five drains all kind of blocked up over here. So I thought, okay, what's going on? And then I realized we don't have any waiting stations. So um, before we before we yeah, continue into power, let's have a look if we can fix this up real quick. Unfortunately, this one here is in the way. Perhaps we can uh, we can work around it. And now I would like this to be fairly symmetrical. Or maybe we can build this area actually over here with a few waiting stations. I mean, it's a lovely empty spot on place in there. However, if we... Okay, so let's have a look. If we shift you a little bit, let's say this is the area where they turn back, we could probably build you here as well. All right, and then the waiting station can still remain here. Yeah, I don't think it needs to be any higher than this. However, where it's going to go, we might need some... Oh yeah, we're going to have to divide this probably up because we don't want them to be turning back here and then driving into another station. No, that is not a great idea at all. And with these ones, okay. Oh no, that was just a train. A train that was arriving to the station. Not to worry. Might have to recalculate a few things in here. Another thing I've noticed, we might not be able to construct the middle piece in here. So why don't we do this one first? Oh yeah, that one's going to have to go as well. And I think that should be fine now. So having two here and maybe another two on this side as well might just be enough. Okay, and then we can do another one here. Or maybe we just extend it a little bit. That shouldn't be a problem. This one goes as well. You're going to go there. And what I'd like to do is give you guys the highest of priorities. Okay, probably have to pause you for a, for a second as well. Okay, so whilst they are constructing this one, should we do one on this side as well? I guess we can. Yeah, why don't we do another one over here very quickly as well. It's just going to help us out with the efficiency. Turning bits in these locations, waiting stations will go. I think it was supposed to be a little further up. Okay, not to worry. And then we'll have crossroads just like so as well with the highest of priorities we don't want them to be kind of stuck in here okay everything else should be fine before we forget let's do another set of flags just like so as well all right so four stations should be pretty good let's have a look what else can we can we do here whilst they are constructing everything up now in our farming station let me just pause it for a second right now we've got four stations so two of them are right over there then we have a third one just like here and the initial one which is the fourth one now is right next to our district center now that is probably three stations too many and we're gonna have to do something about it i have a feeling that this one here although it's kind of like a nice central location for the the farming area is actually not very necessary for us anymore since the the distance from let's say from from these farms to the train station or to the um food production zone is pretty much the same so it doesn't make sense to bring the food here only for the train to go over there and then unload it again it's just a little bit extra work it feels like yeah so this one is most likely gonna go we're gonna just keep it alive for a little longer so maybe you can be more for like construction materials we've got some gears perhaps some planks and some logs as well right now it doesn't seem like we have very conflicting issues so so yeah, everything can can remain where they are. Okay, so it appears we had a bad tide incoming. Let's just quickly observe, is everything going to be okay? Hopefully all these gates are... Oh yeah, yes they are closed up. What about those ones there? They are now down. Bit of extra power, which is always lovely to have. Okay, another thing we should probably do in here is to change up how we are producing power. I feel like we could do a lot more over here. If it was more of a, like a like a snake formation or... Let's say maybe if we use this land over here as well, we could, yeah, I mean, we could dynamite. And it's not going to look pretty if I'm completely honest, but it, it should help with our 
power needs if we use a bit of bit of land over here and then we could maybe make sure that the water comes down turns left and then exits the map over here probably something we can we can do here but right now it seems everything is working just as expected yep no problems at all so that's lovely okay so the next thing i would like to start doing before we can really fix up all the other zones i mean pine resin is already fine and i'd like to build like a a production zone on the middle peninsula or the island over here but we can't really do it until we have the log production moved to this peninsula in here for that i've been trying to figure out where do we want those train tracks to go as well so i'll take a quick second and we'll have the new blueprint in place after which we can start putting down some moisturizing stations as well and uh and yeah, start growing some trees finally. Okay, so there we go. The plan is very, very simple. We're going to have the trains enter the zone from here, but also from, from this side. We'll have a bit of a bit of a crossing from here. They'll go around and the station's going to be located just on the, on the uh, well, I guess it's more like a central location here. And then if for some reason the trains do not want to go into the station, they can cut through here and then go back to the other districts. Or if it's come from this side and it wants to still turn around, something happened, who knows what. They still have the option to turn around yet again. Okay, now in the middle, I think somewhere here it would be lovely to have a few resting stations as well. Or maybe we'll do it in, in the more of like a production zone. Not entirely sure just yet. But that's where we are going to have the access point. We'll let the beavers climb up and down. Well, not the beavers. I think that's going to be all bots. Oh yeah, our... Another thing, getting a little bit sidetracked over here, but Kuist or Alex did recommend, I think we already started doing this in the last episode, I have pretty much paused all of the advanced breeding pods right now, and I don't know if that's going to end in a disaster where we lose all the beavers, maybe not. I mean, we can always make some new ones if we open up the advanced breeding pods, but uh, yeah, right now we're just trying to kind of get rid of as many beavers as we can in the most humane way possible so um yeah we've got tons of bots already as well another 36 spare ones that don't have a job right now so i think we're pretty good once we get the production zones going here we can make even more bots but i don't think we're gonna need that many because the reason why we have this many beavers and bots is because we're producing quite a lot of food as well now let me just pause it real quick if we zoom over over here i think this farm over here is going to be more than enough for the 30 or 40 beavers maybe a few extra ones that we have to support all of them but okay how are things going over here the mangroves are starting to die but i think we'll be fine oh yeah just another day left and then um yeah that's what we are gonna do we're gonna have to build the moisturizing stations first we've got one two three four five and the sixth one over here that should be yeah that should help us green up everything in here and now all we have to really do is connect up the roads give them access again i think there was another one somewhere here okay here we go now they can and should be able to start building everything up another thing i'll have to quickly do is um yeah delete a few of those levees because that's where we are going to have the roads okay so we can uh, give the beavers and the bots a little bit of time to construct it all up and we'll be back as soon as it's done and here we go the best part is done we can uh, finally deepen these areas a little bit the moisturizing stations are one step closer to completion we can't quite do this one yet because they are doing levees so why don't we leave it for a little bit this one however can go and well they're still bringing the dynamites over here but that's okay we should be done any second now and here we go couple more dynamites oh they're all still alive and zooming over here oh dear is one of you gonna step into the way of the dynamites hopefully not here we go the last one is now complete as well and here we go all the moisturization stations are almost complete we've got the the water dropping stations already done and the next step, as you can see, we're bringing in water as well, which is fantastic. And the next step really is to wait for the foresters to be completed as well. And then we can start planting some trees over here. Now, priority wise, I think everything is prioritized already. Oh, yes, they are. So, yeah, the beaver numbers are dropping rather 
quickly. We might have to actually open a few ports again, just in case. I'm looking at, okay, we've got enough gears, we've got enough blanks. I mean, maybe we don't have to open those pods. Maybe we can just do another assembler somewhere over here and connect you up. Okay, power. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky over here. But um, do we have any more space in here? Oh, no, we don't. Uh, this one here, but then again, connecting with the power, a bit tricky. Okay, never mind. What we're going to do, let's do another assembler just like so. You're not going to... What's the problem? Oh, it's just the distance. Okay, everything is good. We'll give you a road as well. And that should be done pretty quickly over here. Now, with the beaver... Sorry, the bot count. We've got 10 spare ones right now. Where are you guys? Not in here. Oh, yes, they are in here, actually. Now, where do we need them the most? Uh, starting district could use another Thor. Uh, same with the current production zone here. But I think, oh yeah, a couple of them are builders. I think we should be fine. So what we'll do is, it's uh, a night time right now. Why don't we let them just quickly build this up? And then we'll be back as soon as we get some trees going as well. So quick status update as well. Things are going pretty okay. I've plotted down a couple of extra foresters just in case here as well. I just want to get all those trees down as quick as we can. And then we can pause them or delete them again. But uh, yeah, I think quarter of the forest is almost in place. A little bit slower over here it seems. Let's have a look at this one as well. That's on pots already, which is great. Let's do another one. Perhaps somewhere here, delete this road, connect you up back to the forester. This one's actually connected the our uh, our starter district over here. And things seem to be going quicker because I think we might have a few spare bots over there. And uh, as you can see, only 192 beavers left, 320 bots. So this is going rather, rather good, I'd, I'd want to say. Now over here, I'm starting to put in the decoration uh, slopes and pieces as well. So um, I do want to leave like a bit of a gap every now and then just to make sure that the foresters can access everything and nothing's going to be uh, too limited for them. In terms of power, we might have to plot down a few water wheels every here and there just to make sure that they have some charging stations or maybe we could even do them in the middle. Yeah, maybe we we'll run some cables from, from somewhere here. I guess we'll we'll see, but for the time being, yeah, I'm just going to go around this place, do some decorations, uh, make sure that the design is the way we want it to be. And uh, whilst all this is happening over here, let's just zoom to the other side to combat our power issues. I have started putting down some water wheels over here as well. So uh, first of all, we'll have the gravity batteries connected up to the, the power cables. Then they will run into those large motor wheels. And here we don't have the cables just yet. But let me spin you around real quick. We do have the cables right over here. Which also, it seems we don't have it just yet. But in the future, let me just get rid of a couple of roads over here. In the future, they will be connected to the main colony as well. Alright, so another quick check-in. It seems all the trees are now finally planted. So we can start pausing... I'm most likely deleting the forest stations as well. Now, let's have a look at the progress. 23% is not bad at all. Okay, the rest of it here is pretty much done as well. And uh, why I have left a gap in here, I am considering putting some more industrial piles like I have done in the middle over here. It would be lovely to have quite a few of those storages very close to the good station because I, I have a feeling that perhaps we might want to unlink and create a separate district here as well. I could easily place uh, a district, what is it called, the um, district center right on top of this one. So that means the beavers or the bots would only run right about here. I mean, then it comes to the same point which I raised at the start of the, the episode, which was actually it is very close. So maybe we just don't want those trains running back and forth here. The bots could run across and deliver resources this way. But um, I don't know. I mean, if we are going to have a hauling station and then also a district crossing, that takes about 20, 20 bots in total. Why not just cut out the, the district crossing 
and just have the distribution center here. Okay, so why don't we try? I think in this one, let's create another district over here as soon as everything's built, of course, because right now I think we are just waiting for resources as well. And then what we'll do is, yeah, we'll have a separate one here and then have the trains ferry or train things across the border. Whereas the farming, we'll, we'll do what we said before and just have it as a one big district over here. It doesn't make sense to, yeah, create a separate, separate one for this one. So um, whilst they were doing the forestry stuff, things were not going very well over here because we were lacking planks. And I was like, OK, so let's have a look. We've got still 2000 planks in the storage. So what's going on? And then I realized we don't have imported resources. We, we talked about it at the start of the, the episode. So basically, um, I had to accept a few more resources. The train started running around. And as you can see, they are bringing tons of resources in already. So, yeah, that's a. Uh, all going pretty pretty nicely so far. Let's have a look at the power real quick as well. We're okay. We're not doing too great, to be honest. Um, let's have a look. How much are you producing? Oh, wow. 1,500. 1,600. So that's not bad at all. Let's build the last two here as well and see what happens after that. I know it's very, very dark in here, but I'm just going to connect those power cables up as well. And hopefully we will be... Oh, yeah. We're going to have to do the same in here. And then we should be very soon. Is there another link missing somewhere? Oh, okay. Right. So let's delete this one. We'll allow them to construct the last missing link in here. And then we should be good. Okay, so there we go. I think the game has been running for quite some time now. We've got some extra water wheels. And if we take a look at the power real quick as well, then uh, we are producing 17,000 and consuming about 13,000. So... That's not bad. We've got a few extra gravity batteries here as well. And what I am starting to do here is just placing down a couple more levees just to channel the water through the canals over here. And as soon as the levees are in place, we shall construct a few more large water wheels as well, just to increase the power production as much as we can. Now, I think the beavers are, or the bots are pretty, pretty busy right now. So we've got a couple of trains over here. Let's just pause it for a, for a second. Our population has dropped tremendously so yeah maybe uh one or two cycles might have passed who knows but uh we're on a uh, hundred and nine beavers right now so i think soon we might open a few few bots again to produce or maintain our beaver population okay so uh i've also moved quite a few bots out of different what's going on here oh this one's a bot okay so that's all good so i've moved them out from different buildings in here so if we look at the district overlay real quick again we've got 26 beavers only it used to be like 100 and something before but right now there's about 22 jobs and uh, seven available so yeah slowly but surely I have been swapping them out and then oh dear okay 27 jobs available let's have a quick look over here i think i just closed like every single builder's hut so that means probably some of the farming duties or production duties are lacking beavers. Well, okay, so I think we're pretty close to our ideal beaver population. So I'm just going to open up four because I know I am going to forget. So, so yeah, let's have it open there. Now, okay, so we talked about power. Let's have a look into this district real quick as well. I think everything is pretty much done over here. We've got this lovely blank platform here as well which we uh, can increase uh, maybe some more storages but also the district center is going to go somewhere around not really sure about where we want to place this just yet i just wanted to get all the all the trees in and um yeah 76 percent on the on the highest one i think and in about a few days from now we can make the final switch to this island here or the peninsula and um, have all of our logs being produced in this region so quickly looking at the trains as well, let's grab some of the tracks. Um, yeah, everything's pretty much in place. We've got a station right about here. And then um, not yet entirely sure if we want to put some waiting, waiting areas over here. I do have to do a couple more flags as well, but um, yeah, this is how it's going to go. Okay, so we could actually place down the district center. Let's say it's going to be right about here. Okay, and this one is going to be our logging uh oh here we go logging industry there we go so um we've got a little bit of power i think already produced over here so if we move the or when we move the bots in they can charge but it's a little bit further away so what i have been building in the background as well is a series of 
Oh, I think we are missing something. Here you go. Series of power wires. And um, although it's not really connected into any of the main lines, I'm sure we'll fix it in no time. I'd like to bring some more charging stations. I think around this area will be lovely. And uh, here we'll probably have to redevelop the bridge system as well because uh, I have put in those irrigation barriers now and things seem better but when we have the drought trees do start to die around this area so um, just something to keep in mind but okay I think that's gonna be the end of this episode so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed I'll see you in the next one again